Welcome back to UMBC. Welcome to the Meyerhoff Family Retreat and our annual meeting. This is outstanding. We enjoy a lot of perks today. We have folks who come from MIT to Berkeley on a weekly basis to spend time talking about internship programs, graduate school opportunities, fellowships, those campus visits Ms. Hall mentioned, those folks are coming from across the country because of the reputation of UMBC and the Meyerhoff program and to spend time sharing with you and pouring into you for your growth and development. That did not just fall out the sky. It was earned. It was earned by M1s, M2s, M3s, M4s, and M5s. We have a legacy of excellence to uphold. As we enter this year, you're not studying for a grade, you're studying for your future, to be well educated and you have the knowledge to work with and go forth and make a difference in life. We have a legacy to uphold. Folks worked hard, they fought for it, it's so important that we do it. Everyone hold still. I'm really excited about continuing my research at UMB, working with uh, the stroke patients. It was really interesting this summer. So I'm really excited about getting my own project and continuing working with that. Over the summer, I was at the Jackson Laboratory studying schizophrenia from like a bioinformatic approach. When you realize what you're doing, it's not that hard. You just be, you're just able to think more clearly like, oh, okay, it's starting to click. And that's the, and 212 is a class where you actually um, learn that you're actually like, you want to be a computer engineer because you're thinking and things are working how you want them to. I am looking forward to seeing a lot of these Mahas uh, as professors in places, starting companies, uh, inspiring others to do it. There's definitely a strong need for programs like this that can find ways to increase the number of students from all races who can not simply make it through the program, but who can excel. That's the point. We want excellent scientists who can work on these problems. The more work that you put into it, the more sure that you'll be. And you know, and, and people learn different ways. Maybe you learn by showing somebody else. Maybe you learn by doing it on your own. But find out what that way is for you and make sure that you do it. I received a lot of support from my peers and I've, uh, I think, I'm not sure if I would have made it without them. And, uh, and it's also not just amongst each cohort, but there's a huge factor with the mentorship from older students. And so um, it's been really an honor for me to return that favor to younger students as well. It's great to have somebody who's already gone through it and he knows how it was, how it's going to be, and pretty much just lead me in the right direction. Without family, where would we all be, you know? So either your family at home, family here, it's, that's, I think that's crucial for success in school. How many of you believe, you really believe, that you have every intention of going on and getting PhD, MD, PhD, or grad degree? How many? Very good, very good. How many of you think you're gonna change the world? Ah, very good. 